everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft, and today's process video is for the May Let's Get Sketchy Sketch Challenge. You can see that the sketch is up in the left hand corner of this video. I'm going to leave it there the whole time so that you can kind of see what I'm doing and how it relates to the sketch. Um, and I'm also going to have in the description box below the link to the Let's Get Sketchy Facebook page. Now, there is a blog, and you'll be able to see all of the design team creations on the blog. However, they're changing things up. So you used to have to go to the blog and enter your, your layout at the, uh, the, the little link entry thing on the side. However, now we are just doing it where you enter on Facebook which I think is so much easier and a lot of challenge blogs are starting to do that. So all you have to do is go to the Let's Get Let's Get Sketchy Facebook group, which you're probably already a part of, and then just put your entry in the comments where you see the photo of the sketch. And that's the sketch right there in this video. So here's what I am doing for this one. Um, I've got a Halloween photo. I took a picture of our pumpkin, our, our front porch display, and the individually bagged candies that I set out for the trick-or-treaters. We had one trick-or-treater, um, so yeah. But I took a picture of it before we went off to my in-laws so that they could see um, their granddaughter in her costume. And I just, uh, you know, I had a, um, a mask on our pumpkin that I just to be funny. And I put out a little chalkboard sign that said, you know, stay safe. Um, and so I wanted to do um, a layout about that photo. I actually have quite a few Halloween photos that I still need to scrap. But I decided to just keep this one separate. And I'm going to title it COVID and Candy because I think the... Um, the way the photo um, with the candy out and the mask on the pumpkin, I think that really just <laughs> defines how Halloween 2020 and the whole year of 2020 um, went. So that's, that's the goal with this layout. And what I decided to do was take some of the pattern paper that I had recently purchased. Um, it was all tags. I think it was from Simple Stories. And I liked at the top of this page where there's sort of um, a, a triangular piece going all the way across the top. And you could do that in a, a bunch of different ways. You could just do paper strips. You could do some tearing, use the tearing technique. Um, I, after I um, completed this whole layout, I actually thought maybe I should have done the tags with the bottom of the tags going or getting bigger so you see more of the bottom of the tags but I think I did it this way because um, there was stuff on the tags like the, where it says like October and it actually gets kind of covered up anyway but I think I wanted more of some of the designs to be shown and I wouldn't I would have cut that off if I had gone the other way I don't know if any of this makes sense to you however I'm just trying to explain my process here. So what I um, decided to do also, instead of doing banners uh, behind the photo, I just cut those tags. It was pretty perfect. So I cut three tags out to kind of layer up behind the photo. I backed the photo on some doodle bug or Bella Boulevard paper. Now I can't remember. I think it's Bella Boulevard. I'm um, just like a striped, a striped Halloween paper. Um, and then instead of doing the big circles behind the photo, I had that big giant tree sticker, um, which was, oh, man, old photo play from like a couple years ago. I still had it in my stash. And then I just did some layering of paper strips and some stickers um, to kind of peek out behind the photo. So I don't use the exact same elements as in the sketch, but that's okay. Um, and here, just to add a little bit more interest, I purchased this... I think Simple Stories stencil, uh, just a bunch of stars specifically for my Halloween photos because I really, really, um, I really, really liked the stars and I had, I think some of the Bella Boulevard stuff had stars or something on it. Um, I, I had this idea of doing what I'm doing here, taking some black ink, which I think is um, maybe a Hampton ink, Hampton art ink pad, I don't know, um, but just taking some blank, black ink and stamping some stars along the page. I had originally thought maybe I was going to do it on white cardstock, um, but then when I started doing this layout, I picked the orange cardstock um, instead of white, so, uh, but it's, you know, black turns up on orange just fine, so I probably should have tried to do this, 
stars before I glued everything down, but the beauty of my little double-sided adhesive squares, which is what I use because I'm old school, um, is that they do pretty easily peel up so you can kind of get underneath stuff, um, which is nice. So I just did a little bit looking like the stars are peeking out from behind all the photos and the elements. I'm going to add some, I think those are Bella Boulevard stars, Bella Boulevard uh, epoxy. They're from the um, the uh, Christmas collection, the, I think the Fa La La collection, but who, I mean, there were like yellow and white stars in here, and I was like, you could use those colors for anything. That's what I like about stuff like enamel dots and those types of just general stickers. You can use them for anything. And now I'm going to break out my um, American Crafts thickers that I've had for many, many, many years. I still have letters on this one, but I've been saving them for Halloween stuff because they are specifically like Halloween letters. They are black, but then they've got orange on the sides. Um, so I am going to create my title and put it generally in the same place as it is on the sketch. Of course, I didn't have enough O's, so I had to take a cue and cut the little, cut the little um, curly tail piece off <laughs> to make it be, to make it be an O. And that's totally fine. If you also MacGyver your letters, let me know in the comments. Um, I do that quite often, you know, use three, uh, a three, turn it around, make it like a cursive E. Um, Q's can be O's. I don't know what what other letter. I think I've done V's as A's before too. I'm curious what other letters you guys like to MacGyver in order to make things work. So that's really almost the end of this layout. I just have to put my title down. I think I do a little bit of journaling. I don't even know. This is kind of, itself kind of a self-explanatory layout. So I don't think I really need to do much. And I know obviously it's October 31st because it's Halloween. So. I don't think there's really much else to do for this layout. It's very, another very like simple sketch, very easy to be inspired by this one. So I hope you guys definitely come to the Let's Get Sketchy Facebook group and check it out. And also see what everybody else on the design team has created. And in the Facebook group, I think it makes it much easier for you to see what everybody else who's playing along has created. And then you can leave comments on theirs, on right there on Facebook. So I think it's going to be um, a, a really nice community feel in the Facebook group. So definitely come join us and come play along. Like I said, the link is going to be in the description below. And I'm going to have some close-ups following so you can get a little bit more of an idea of the detail of the, the stencils, as well as just other fun little close-up bits and bobs. It's always nice to see a layout a little bit closer, especially when you're watching it in a video. But thank you for watching the video, and please give this video a thumbs up, like, click subscribe so you don't miss out on any more process videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!